well, I can't get the people I need. I can't expand my business. I, I really think that the, the, these youngsters have to work on themselves more, to be honest. We do work with them to find themselves and where to, to direct their knowledge and their skills and what they actually want to, to work. Are you optimistic about the future, Eva? I am, positively, in the sense of making the education closer uh, to the world standards. I mean, that internship is like the main channel to, to collect our resources. You know, when you, when you see them from the beginning and we, when you see them after a few months of work and when you see what they've become, what kind of uh, people they become and what kind of professionals, it's really exciting too. Well, on that note of optimism and enthusiasm, I want to thank you all for being with us and helping us better understand how the workplace is changing in Macedonia today. With more education comes the prospect of new opportunities. One industry that's providing some jobs here, the film business. Next, Macedonia Goes Hollywood, a small production company lights up your world of entertainment with stunning skill. How is it possible to take at least 30 days to travel 95 miles? Great food. Macedonia. Timeless. assured of our five-star service. Qatar Airways, world's five-star airline. Mazdar is Abu Dhabi's renewable energy company, investing in the world's most promising clean technologies, developing the minds of tomorrow's energy leaders, building renewable power projects across the globe, helping to reduce CO2 emissions through advanced technology and creating an oasis of clean tech research where sustainability is a part of daily life. Mazdar, a holistic approach to renewable energy and clean technology. It's a really big world. You have to get out of the bubble. That's what it takes to be out front. Erin Burnett, out front, only on CNN. There's an artistic movement in Macedonia, shaped not by the tools that crafted the country's historic monuments and churches, but by the movies. Whether a blockbuster Hollywood hit or an award-winning production, there's no denying that this country has had an influence on the film industry. And perhaps no one embodies that more than renowned director Milcho Menchevsky. Milcho Menchevsky has lived in New York City for 25 years. He says the sights and sounds inspire him to create. It's sort of the obvious thing. It's the energy. It's the social space. There's so much social space. You can be anyone you want to be and people leave you alone. His list of works is vast, ranging from award-winning feature films, rap videos, TV shows, and even commercials about his homeland of Macedonia. Menchevsky is just about to go on tour for his latest feature film, Mothers. The reason the film is called Mothers is because um, the film tries to ask questions about the nature of truth. And mothers are those who teach us first to tell truth and to tell lies. His first film, released in 1994, was what catapulted his career. Before the Rain was nominated for an Academy Award and won the Golden Lion for Best Film in Venice. Like it was all of a sudden, you know, I mean, um, there I am, uh, people sending my scripts back in the mail, unopened, unread. And a few months later, I'm you know, in, in meetings with uh, studio heads and, and uh, you know, Nicole Kidman and Warren Beatty. <laughs> Manchevsky was born in Skopje, Macedonia, 
and started writing when he was a young boy, winning awards as early as age 12. But it was the United States where Manchevsky was able to realize his possibilities, which is where he came as a teenager to study film and begin his career. You know, there's something about that promise of reinventing yourself, mm. which I guess all the immigrants who ever came to the U.S. were probably thinking of. It's like, okay, and now for something completely different. <laughs> um, and, and starting over and just trying to reimagine things. Manchevsky starts over every time he sits down to write a new script or peer through the camera lens as a director. Driver, with the right hand, reach the window and open the door. And when it came to an episode of The Wire, a gritty series confronting drugs and gang warfare on HBO, he took on the project as a hired gun. Lord, I've really been real when a chance to direct a rap video came his way, he embraced it, featuring a little-known band at the time called Arrested Development. They're all about community and there's something softer and, and heartfelt about what they do and I could really relate to it. Um, so we went down to Atlanta and, and shot it around Atlanta. But it's Manchevsky's homeland of Macedonia that remains the primary location for all of his films. I love seeing and hearing familiar things and I think all of us do. There's something comforting about recognizing a building or a, or a corner about hearing a language that you haven't spoken in months um, about running into someone you haven't seen since high school so there's there's something beautiful about it something very comforting and very human about it a man who offers us his own beautiful vision of his homeland while Milcho Manchevsky thrives on capturing real, touching images of his homeland, for some Macedonian artists, it's all about creating a world unlike anything that really exists. Now, when you think about mind-boggling movie special effects, would you be surprised to know that Macedonians are playing a major role there, too? Well, don't be, because they are. A team of Macedonian graphic artists has created their own mini Hollywood right here in Skopje, and there's a good chance that you've seen their handiwork. From the shimmering horizons of the Golden Compass to the awe-inspiring robots of Transformers, these are just some of the Hollywood blockbusters that Macedonia's FX3X has had a hand in. This is where all of the adding life to the characters happens. CEO Christian Danilovsky had a Commodore 64 in the 80s, and in 1991 he saw this film. Terminator 2. Liquid magic images like this inspired him to try his hand at animations and visual effects. The petrol tanker is hitting the, the, the exactly. robot, so there, so then it will like explode. It. Today, Christian can count Terminator 4 in a long list of work. The company's motto, star quality without the star attitude. For us, it's we, we take pride, pride in our work no matter how big or small. So we, we want to do it professionally in the highest possible quality within you know, the given budget and schedule. We are aware that you know, the stars are on the screen, not behind the screen. This is the heart of operations for FX3X, and don't let its humble appearance fool you. This is where Hollywood magic is made, where the fantastic becomes real. For Macedonia, FX3X is a model business, carving out a niche market with a small but talented workforce, delivering Hollywood effects at Macedonian prices, with a staff of about 150, many trained from scratch by Christian's team. FX3X may be small, but its impact is much bigger, says film professor Dian Ilyev. It's a company that in the past few years made a significant uh, success and breakthrough in the in the Hollywood, so it opened practically door for Macedonia. Here, for example, we had to include a real car, so the actor can interact with it. FX3X is now sprinkling its movie magic at home, creating this transforming taxi for a local comedy film. With seamless scenes like this, FX3X has put Macedonia on the Hollywood map. Hard to believe that company was only founded in 1997 in a warehouse right here in Skopje. Since then, they've made more than 20 feature films. All right, now I want to introduce you to a voice you're not likely to soon forget. We're talking about the vibrant, soulful sound 
of Esma Rajapova, the queen of the gypsies. She's been around for some 60 years, and she's still going strong. Esma Rajapova is royalty. She has a crown and a title, but most of all, a voice. Esma is queen of the gypsies. She was born in Skopje to a Roma family, the fifth of six children. Her father cleaned shoes for a living, but loved music. He taught Esma the complicated rhythms that became the song she says she wrote at just nine years old. Chaye Shukariye, Beautiful Girl. Her lucky break came in 1954 when she sang that song for a local radio station. That broadcast changed her life. Musician Stefo Teodosievsky was listening and instantly signed her up, becoming her mentor, manager, and later her husband. They toured the world. Once, they drove through Iran and Afghanistan to the world's first Roma music festival in India. She says they arrived just two hours before her performance and were astonished to hear groups from Hungary, Turkey and Greece all singing her songs. I was named the queen of Roma music. In 55 years of singing, Esma has done 15,000 performances and is planning a new record, book and tour for next year. When we visited her, she performed for a meeting of Roma leaders from across Europe, a queen among her adoring subjects, a living legend in Macedonia and far beyond. A truly remarkable woman with a rich musical history. Roma music itself is of course influenced by many cultures and remains popular all over the world. We hope you've enjoyed our special look at Macedonia. For now, I'm Jim Clancy. Thank you for watching. Macedonia has a qualified workforce with excellent English skills, low taxes and plenty of business opportunities as the market is still developing. Investors can benefit from easy property registration. You can also set up a company within four hours by visiting only one office. Taxes are paid electronically and there is no visa regime for EU citizens. Come and invest in a land with friendly and dedicated people and plenty of business opportunities. Invest in Macedonia, where everything comes into place. start to sit down and have a dialogue and how we can start trying to address those issues. Serious and satirical protest. That's this weekend on Backstory on CNN. Backstory only on CNN. The feeling that you get, the goosebumps that you get walking on the court in front of the, your people wanting you to fight for your country and when you win there's no better feeling. Open court.